caught this oval eye off a of jetty in Marina Del Rey. And no joke, we saw trash bags floating by. We saw a used condom, a giant used condom that just floated right, right by us. And I froze this for a couple days and I thawed it out for two and a half days now, three days probably. The question of free will touches nearly everything we care about. Most of what is distinctly human about our lives seems to depend upon our viewing one another as autonomous persons, capable of free choice. But free will is an illusion. Our wills are simply not of our own making. Thoughts and intentions emerge from background causes of which we are unaware and over which we exert no conscious control. Don't you ever wonder why you are what you are? I mean, don't you ever just look around at your life and think, what the hell even is any of this shit? How did I actually get here? What the hell am I even doing? For instance, how does one become a stand-up comedian? Well, you must first be born with an intact nervous system and then provided with a proper education. No freedom there. And at some point, you must decide to become a comedian, a result presumably of first wanting to become one. But from where does that want arise? Not from you, but from the result of an inexplicable combination of events and forces that you will never understand. To become a comedian, you must also have the talent for the job and develop the best brains for the art. Becoming a comic requires effort. You must do many things, deliberately and well, and in the appropriate sequence, year after year. But will you be the conscious source of this wanting? Will you be responsible for its prevailing over all the other things you want? No. If you succeed at becoming a comedian, you will suddenly one day find yourself standing on stage, microphone in hand, at the confluence of all the genetic and environmental causes that led you to develop along this line. Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, is a progressive brain disorder caused by repeated head injuries that leads to cognitive decline, including impaired decision-making, unstable impulsive behavior, drug and alcohol addiction, memory loss, and problems planning and carrying out tasks. CTE symptoms can appear at any time following traumatic brain injury, and the condition only worsens over time, eventually leading to a full-on detachment from reality. We do not have the freedom we think we have. Just as within a circuit, an electron follows the path of least resistance, so too do human beings. And there's no telling where you'll end up. Verizon guy, 449, Quebec X-ray. Hey, uh, I found myself in a bit of a predicament. I'm in the air right now. 449, are you not supposed to be on that aircraft? Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you just take off? Yeah. And you're not supposed to be on that aircraft? Uh, no. But what's going on? Are you flying the plane? Yeah. Usually these patterns are predictable and stable. Things go about doing what they ought to. There's a moment where it changes. But the universe, given its infinite vastness, sometimes manifests into reality what we call karmic mutations. Coincidental waves of cause and effect that lead to circumstances that appear to make no rational sense. Yeah, so you hijacked the plane, is what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I'm in a kind of a bad thing, kind of a selfish thing. Just a broken guy, got a few screws loose, I guess. Never really knew it until now. This isn't a sad thing. Think we're trying to do a barrel roll? Sounds just go nose down and call it a night. How we doing, my man? Another shot for the road? No, I probably shouldn't, man. I'm shooting my first comedy special tonight. How long you been doing it? Three years. Suppose your hero and mentor insisted to you that you should become a stand-up comedian. And so you do it. Is that your own conscious choice? Or have you just been persuaded? And would he then be responsible for whatever terrible fate would surely await you in that pursuit? Ladies and gentlemen, from the Fighter and the Kid podcast and below the belt on Showtime, give it up for the great and powerful Mr. Brendan Shaw! I mean, come on, look at this. This doesn't make any sense. 
Look at him. Stop deluding yourself! These mutations are inherently unstable. And eventually, the great cosmic gardener, who goes by many names and takes on many forms, comes along to pluck the anomaly out of existence. Don't be such a fucking They get to this spot where you know, everyone knows there's something wrong, and no one says anything to them. You see the deterioration, and no one steps in, and then I talk to him alone, man. There's something has to be done, like now. You gotta get out of it. Anyone can do comedy. You just, you might not be able to. Like, you, look, you might not have it in you. How many fucking professional stand-ups are there? There's only like a thousand of us on Earth. There's yeah. so fucking few. What, do you want the art form to die off? You gotta stop. The job is quit touring. Sharp retired from comedy. Yeah, you know, I had to cancel Austin and Nashville. Usually I hate doing that. I think this time I just don't care. You had so many possibilities. You know, I have a weird relationship with uh, social media and that stuff. A lot of negativity. You are starting to flourish. You're hilarious on podcasts. What, you know, that could just, I can't do it anymore. I'm tired, man. Lost all faith in social media viewers now. Oopsie. Persuaded again. We do not have the freedom we think we have. Take, for example, Charles Whitman, an unassuming man with no history of violence who suddenly, one day in 1969, climbed to the top of the clock tower at University of Texas Austin campus. Charles spent 90 minutes indiscriminately firing upon the helpless campus crowd, killed 17 people, and wounded 31 before being felled by a shotgun blast to the head from a police officer. His autopsy revealed a significant brain tumor that had been pressing on his amygdala, the part of the brain responsible for anxiety and the fight or flight reflex. He murdered harder than I've ever seen Whoopsie. you kill before. No freedom. It's like Again. a different person. <clears throat> I was surrounded by you, Callan, Bert, Tom. I wanted to be in that party. I was I was so fortunate. I get the stars aligned for me. I didn't realize at the moment that that was the golden age. We took it for granted. Those days are over, man, and it's heartbreaking. What did you do? The direction you took. Popes, Swami, snake men, all feeding at the same trough. Whose ideas? Who made that? Yeah, I had to cancel Austin and Nashville. Usually I hate doing that. I think this time I just don't care. When you quit. You have to find meaning in your life. Like, what, did, what are you good at now? Just focus on family. Do my thing. Unexpected problems? Good. Good. Don't get startled. Don't get frustrated. No. Get up. Dust off. Recalibrate. Re-engage. Reload. And go out on the attack. What's up, guys? I'm Brendan Schaub. Welcome to the channel. This is Toontown. Oh, for fuck's sake. You gotta like the page, subscribe to the page, also email right here. When are you stopping this, Brendan? Toontown. So like, subscribe in the comment section. Seriously, Ooh. what are you doing? Toontown? Let us know what you want to see. This has to be some brilliant Kaufman-esque bit. What happened to building fish tanks? What do you want to see? Let us know. Why don't you just show me something? Isn't that how it's supposed to work? What made you go and be like, all right, I'm gonna bomb forever? Uh, well, bomb forever is interesting. Dude, dude, I've been here with a Latina, bro. You know why? Man. They're fun and they're <laughs> sexy, right? right? Yo, dude. Now that you're out, you, you see it, right? The ego that I had at the time, that ego's insane. The narcissism. Oh, wow. My girl's grandma died. Stage four pancreatic cancer. You know, what are you gonna do? I pumped her full of CBD. Then she passed away last night. Good. Game, set, match, and... Uh, yeah, Grim Reaper came knocking on the door in Chicago. That's the circle of life. You're out. Good. Charles left a note saying, quote, I don't really understand myself these days. Hello. I am supposed to be an average, reasonable, and intelligent young man. However, lately, I have been a victim of many unusual and irrational thoughts. These thoughts constantly recur. Hello. You never see a bald Native American. That's a legit That's point. You know, yeah, it's the only time you see them bald if they get scalped. You feel me? Comedy's just different. It's just I've different. seen a lot of bald Native Americans. You've seen a lot of, no, you've seen a lot of bald Indians. Indians. What are you doing? Nope. <laughs> After my death, I wish that an autopsy would be performed on me to see if there is any visible physical disorder. <laughs> I told you to take care of your wife. What did I say? <laughs> Remember? Oh, yeah. It's public for what you do? Suppose you felt inadequate your entire life. Restless, knowing you're repulsive and without value. Disgusting. And all you wanted was to be liked. Nope. Suddenly you stumble upon a neat little trick that gets people to want to be around you. The downside is that trick will slowly kill you over time. 
Would you follow that instinct all the way to your own grave? Of course you would. Not your choice, though. Oopsie. Rest in peace. Suppose you were born into immense wealth, but on the outside you look like a disgusting cringe slob oh. who nobody respects. Oh, that's bad. Would you cope with the rejection of the world by convincing yourself you are actually better than everyone else because you've got that lovely trust fund? A wonderful fund. And if you finally manage to build up the admiration of the public, oh, la, la. would you sabotage your own success by hanging on to that old cope? and eventually being exposed as a toxic person and losing it all. Fuck! Rest in peace. Just another oops. Let's go. Right? Yeah. If, for example, a boy was denied love and affection as a child and instead received frequent allegations of homosexuality from his violent father. No, no, he's sweet and he's got sugar in his hand. Would that lead him to a lifetime of trying to reconcile his manhood, an unhinged addiction to extreme exercise, hormone replacement therapy, becoming a male-to-male -male trans man, desperate for the external validation of other men? Mom really should have bought those steaks. Only to transform his own body into a grotesque monstrosity and he knows that he can't be a cop. and becoming an icon to a legion of unfuckable losers even more desperate for a father figure than he is he can take up all the karate you know what's sadder when that's you sad. run into a guy you used to do comedy like you don't do comedy really anymore sad, you run right? into guys and like they you don't do comedy no, anymore no producer now or no Dude, I'm just like coming. yeah I'm not quitting I, do, I just you don't do comedy no, anymore I'm, just, now. I'm not going to Toronto I'm not going to you don't do comedy really anymore sad. especially if they had at least one good Set. Yeah, like, yeah. No, I'm not going to the East Coast. Could have figure. Or maybe even a special or two. Yeah. This is a long <laughs> life we got. We're gonna do this forever. I've said next week. Jim, did you ever hear me say I quit comedy? No. 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 I just juggle a million things. What yeah. happened? Oh my god. I lost.